The Ratio 8 and Ratio 6 were designed to be fantastic coffee machines right out of the box, but they were also built with adaptability in mind. The Ratio 8 is designed to use a Chemex filter, and the Ratio 6 is designed to use flat bottom filters, but they're both capable of using other filters, and even other brewers. If you're the kind of person that loves experimenting with your coffee, but maybe without holding a kettle in the air, we've got your back. So let's dive into how you can use alternate filters, brewers, and carafes with your ratio. First, let's talk carafe compatibility. This will be important when it comes to which drippers and filters we can use. The Ratio 8 is of course compatible with the glass carafe, as well as the Ratio 8 thermal carafe. While the Ratio 8 isn't compatible with the Ratio 6 thermal carafe, the Ratio 6 itself is compatible with both the glass carafe and the Ratio 8 thermal carafe, which enables you to use Chemex filters or Able cone filters. Whether you prefer glass or the insulation of a thermal carafe, this gives you plenty of options to make your machine your own. Now, before we get into the options that are off the beaten path, we have to talk about the Able Cone. It can be used with the glass carafe or with the Ratio 8 thermal carafe, which means that it can easily be used with either machine. In contrast to the other options we'll discuss, it's a metal filter, which means it allows more coffee oils and microparticles to make their way into your cup. If you want a rich experience somewhere between drip and French press, we recommend giving this a try. There are a variety of other drippers which are compatible with both ratio thermal carafes, including the Hario V60, the Kalita Wave, and the Origami Dripper. This opens up the possibility of using both V60 and Kalita Wave filters with your ratio. All of these can be used by simply placing the dripper atop your chosen carafe in place of the standard ratio dripper. Keep in mind that you're using a smaller dripper. For all of these, we recommend brewing no more than a half batch at a time to avoid overflowing. Using these drippers may require changing your dose or grind size, so we recommend taking note of your recipe and results on your first go-through so you can make adjustments accordingly. From there, you're set to blow mines with a hands-free V60.